What's up ladies and gentlemen, this is David Benjamin from Rockstar Reviews and Healthy Well Free. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you the Kenmic EMF radiation meter. Uh, what's nice about it is first and foremost, it's very small, which I like because it, I don't want it to be big. I actually thought it was gonna be bigger. I like that it's small, it's wireless, it's rechargeable with an Android cord, and it measures the electromagnetic frequency radiation um, sort of electrical field in any given environment. So I have it on right now, and right now it's at eight. Um, and you can actually see if it's in the lower or higher range. So right now it's blue, so it's safe, we're good, but I'm also not really holding it close to anything that would cause it to spike up a bit. So what's nice about having something like this, which is only 40 bucks, and I actually have a discount code that gives you, I think $10 off, so it's gonna be like 36 bucks, is that this is something that you can utilize in your home to understand what parts of your home are emitting levels of radiation that are too high, and also understanding which devices emit more radiation in order to not use them as much and put them on airplane mode more often because EMFs do disrupt your sleep, your nervous system gets disrupted by these things, and your circadian rhythm and circadian clock gets thrown off by them as well. And it just creates free radical damage and stress on the body. So right now, there are no EMFs in this region, However, if I move about in different parts, and what you wanna do is you actually wanna point the top part of this at whatever it is. So for example, this right here, this lamp, it's 136, 135, 133, 132, in that region. So when I move it away, it's back to blue. So you can see there's some EMFs be, being emitted by that lamp. Now, um, out of curiosity, I have a little fire going. Nope, no EMFs there. <laughs> Good job, fire. Uh, let's move forward. I'm gonna show you uh, this here is the, oh, the nest. Uh, not as bad as the lamp, but still 84. So you can see the nest puts off some radiation. What else? We can go to plug outlets. And anything electrical outlets, that's gonna shoot that off to 88. Now, what's really fascinating about this is you can go to you know different electronic things. Um, you know, my laptop right here. Oh, looking at 560, the highest yet. 560. So what's cool about this? Oh, let's go to these incandescent light bulbs incandescent light bulbs are still emitting 90, 91. So incandescent light bulbs, although better lighting for sleep, still emit more radiation than even the Nest thermostat, which is crazy. But what I found, what I really like about this and what I find valuable is you're gonna find places in your home that have high levels of radiation and EMFs that you may not have known about. So for example, if I go over here, this is the uh, Wi-Fi extension, and it just sets it right off. Not as high as my laptop. My laptop was over 500. This is about 170, but that's still pretty high. So, but what I what I like about this device, what's interesting about it is you can actually find places in your home that are emitting electromagnetic frequencies that you would have no idea. So obviously anything electrical is gonna be emitting an EMF, anything wireless that emits a wireless signal is gonna emit EMFs. But check this out. What's nice about having a meter, and this is like I said, after the discount code below is only 36 bucks, there's actually a wall in this home here. It's literally a wall. There's no plug outlets, anything like that, but yet it's shooting the EMF reading up to one, one, 30-ish. Once again, there's an electrical outlet down there, but that's not what is reading. So, um, and then when I move away, it just goes back to normal. So really fascinating. Also, you know, your fridge, your freezer, uh, these types of things, they're gonna emit electromagnetic frequencies um, and, you know, clocks, electrical outlets, you know, things like this. Um, but what's really interesting about this is that what's nice about it is it's a tool. It's a tool that you can utilize. And if you have trouble sleeping, for example, this is a great tool because 
what I did in the bedroom was I went around the bed and I went around the bedroom and I found areas that had higher levels of electromagnetic frequencies and I reduced those. So this is just a really good tool to have to reduce the electrical load of EMFs in your home. And once again, it's only 36 bucks. It's rechargeable. It's a good lifelong investment. You can take this into your car. In fact, um, one of my sisters and her husband, they got a Tesla recently. So I really want to take this into the Tesla and test out the EMFs in there. But um, yeah, anyways, the company's called Kenmic, Ken, K-E-N-M-I-C. I'll put a link to them below with a discount code, but I do recommend this. Oh yeah, and the two readings are average AVG, which is what I have it on, and then VPP. Uh, average is just the average reading. VPP is like the fluctuation high and low. So average is really, um, I mean, you could, you could kind of test and measure the fluctuation as well, but I just want to know the average overall. So anyways, highly, rec highly recommend a radiation tester. This will also show you um, that a lot of the products you have don't really work. And this is only 36 bucks after the discount. So check it out. I'll put the link below and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.